Hey y'all, it's me, Slay by Jordan, and the company I'll be working with today is Icy Hair. You can find them on Instagram at Icy Hair Beauty. Inside your package, you'll receive an edge comb brush, lashes, an elastic band, a satin wrap to tie your hair down at night or while you're in the shower, an information pamphlet, and of course, your wig. They sent me over a 12-inch straight bob lace front wig. It is a 13 by 6 medium or light brown lace, and it is 130% density and it does come already cut in a bob shape. The hairline on this wig comes truly pre-plucked to perfection, so the only thing you have to worry about is bleaching the knots. So let me show you guys how we're gonna do this affordable slay, this beauty on a budget. You can get this wig for under $100, even under $80. Stay tuned to the end of the video to receive my coupon codes and get all this tea on how you can slay on the budget during this quarantine time, okay? So I went ahead and put on her ball cap and put makeup on her cap before I put the wig on. I also put that makeup on the wig as well. And I was just about to get ready to install the wig. I'll be using my Beautiful Hustler Lace Melt Adhesive for layers. And um, we used the adjustable straps and the comb to secure the wig in the back. And now after your last layer is dry, you want to go ahead and lay that lace directly down and then you're going to use your blow dryer on high heat to melt that lace in. And once you get done melting that lace in, you're going to take your elastic band to really, really melt that lace in and you're going to tie it down and leave it tied down for a good, you know, five to ten minutes. Or you can go ahead and start styling the hair while the elastic band is on. So after those few minutes, we're gonna start proceeding to cut that lace off. You wanna use a fresh eyebrow razor. I was using an old one, so I was kind of struggling a little bit, but try to make sure that you use a new fresh razor. It'll make your cutting the lace process so much easier. And if you have to use shears to help you, that is perfectly fine. Do whatever you do, just make sure you're not cutting like in a straight line. You wanna cut kind of jagged. That way the lace doesn't look so obvious.
As you can see, her lace is significantly noticeable, but don't worry, we're gonna go in with our hairspray and our elastic band, and we're gonna melt that right in. So right now, you wanna go ahead and do the outline for your style, whether you're doing a half up, half down, side part, or a middle part. Today, we're doing a bust down, okay, period. So we're about to use our hot comb and our wet stick to lay that middle part into place. So before I spray the lace with the hairspray, I want to go ahead and section out my hairs for my baby hairs. Um, if you want a more natural look, you don't have to do baby hairs, but y'all know I'm extra in my class are extra. We love baby hairs. We love all of them. So we're doing some baby hairs again today. So you want to go ahead and separate those before you start spraying the hairspray on the lace. And now you're gonna take your hairspray and you're just gonna melt that lace in further. As you can see, once you spray the hairspray, it's starting to blend in better anyway. Um, you can use Bed Head, Free Spray, Tresemme, you can use Sebastian Shaper Plus. I'm not using either one of those four, but those are some great hairsprays to help melt that lace in. And now while we further melting that lace in, I'm gonna go ahead and lay her hair down I'm using my wax stick and my hot comb. And I'm going through making parts on the entire frontal just to get it flat as possible. I want a very nice sleek bob. I want it flat, 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 flat. <laughs> I want it flat. So I'm just gonna take my hot comb, my wax stick, and we're gonna do that. And after that, we're going to press the hair out. You wanna press the hair out before you cut it. You definitely want to make sure the hair is as straight as possible so you can see exactly what you're cutting. So after I get done flat ironing it, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. And you don't have to cut it because like I said, this hair does come cut already in a bob shape. You can even get this in a shorter inch, like a 10 or an 8 inch. That way it can be the exact length that I'm cutting the bob to today. But I always like to get longer hair so I can cut it shorter. I don't know. It just, I like to have room to play with. But if you're trying to be a beauty on a budget, honey, you're trying to save as much coin as possible. So if you know you want it like just below um, chin length, girl, get you an eight inch or a 10 inch wig, you know, save you some money.
So now we're gonna cut this hair shorter than what it is. As you can see, it's a little bit below shoulder length, but I wanna cut it like below the, below the chin, but above shoulder, you know? Just cut it to the length that you or your client wants. And we're doing a blunt cut today, so we're just cutting it straight across. And then once you get done cutting it straight across, you wanna bend their head down and get the hairs underneath. If you want a more detailed video, um, or you want a more detailed video to watch on how I cut my blunt cuts, you can go look at my protective quick weave blunt cut bob video. I explain cutting this um, in more detail.
And now we're done cutting. As you can see, that hair is silky, honey, and that hair is blunt, period. So now we're finna get ready to cut these baby hairs and we're finna get ready to swoop and whoop. We going extra on the baby hairs today. So my baby hair lovers, y'all are going to love this. Um, a good alternative to the mousse that I'm using today that you can use is the Erica J Fluff Stuff Foam. I think it's currently sold out right now. I'm not sure, but that is a great mousse to slay your baby hairs with. And once you get done laying them down, you wanna tie it down with two wrap strips just for extra security and to make sure they're in place. And you can either blow dry or let it air dry. Um, blow dry, it'll come out quicker. But I decided to let it air dry because you know, we lazy, honey. But yeah, if you wanna speed up the process, either you can sit them up on an overhead dryer or you can blow dry it. And now my favorite part, cutting off the wrap. I low key be scared because I'd be hoping like they stayed in place, but of course they did. Mm hmm. Baby hair is on fleek. And you know, I had to go ahead and comb them out and, you know, use my hairspray to, you know, get them to lay exactly how I want it to. If you want to see a more detailed tutorial on my baby hairs, go look at my 36 inch wig video and I explain in detail how I do my baby hairs. So now we're just going to put a slight velvet in the hair. Do not bump this hard. You're going to have a grandma bob. Please do not be sitting up bumping this hair hard. Just take it, just take your flat iron straight down. And I promise you, like, gravity, it'll just make you naturally just curve it a little bit at the ends. And give it a little slight bevel so it can look, you know, just sleek and just bouncy and shaky. But if you go for a more edgy look, you can just leave it, you know, how it is, just bone straight. But we wanted the more, you know, sleek, you know, sexy bob, whatever.
And now to finish off this style, we're gonna take our hairspray to tame any flyaways. And if you look closely, it really ain't none. But you know, I just had to be a little extra. And then we're gonna take our Beyond Design to give the hair a beautiful gloss. And honey, we is laid and slayed, honey. Period. Do you see that blood cut? Child, come through. Shake it, honey. Shake your haters off. Shake it. Let, let your haters know. No stiff hair here. Period. And make sure you all use my coupon code JOYDA to get an extra $6 off your purchase. I hope you guys enjoyed this affordable sleigh. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, and turn your notification bell. Goodbye.